Hey, this is Mary Agnes Antonopoulos, and I am here for On the Beam. This is your introduction to social strategy course. It's offered at no cost, just a give to uh, supply you with some great information. Today's five-minute lesson, they've been running a little bit closer to six minutes. Uh, is on link uh, no meetup today's lesson is on meetup groups so if you're not using meetup groups I wanted to share why they're fabulous and what to do to make it work for you so the first thing is the overarching demographic of meetup is that people are willing to leave their house so this isn't like every other social network and let me show you how how it works so the first thing is you would actually find a meetup group in your region based on what you're interested in and you would actually go meet the people like real human beings so it's a virtual space with a real life component if you wanted to own a meetup group you could organize one with your interests and people from your region would find you or people from all over the world because you don't have to have you don't have to have all your events be live, only some of them. So I own a writer's group, and I'm going to show that to you right now. There's my cursor, and this is me. And I'm just going to show you my writer's group called Writers at the... What, what happened there? Writers at the Monroe Diner. And Writers at the Monroe Diner is a space where writers from the town I live in all get together and we share our work. What What's going on here? <laughs> Hmm. Well, Meetup must be down for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, Writers at the Monroe Diner. Um, this is my group, and I'm going to show you 73 writers, and they are from all over the world. This is the really cool thing. So, this is a group of people that are from uh, locally. This is Wendy from Montclair, New Jersey. That's at least an hour from where I live. And um, let's see. I don't know who these people are. Monica Coyne from Milford, Pennsylvania. So my group has a really good reputation for supporting writers without criticism. And here's what happens. I own this group and you would schedule a meetup. And I would put something on the calendar, a date, a time, an event description. And let's just go look at some old meetups. So we would get together the first Wednesday of the month. We did that for a long time. Um, first Wednesday of the month, and then we would actually, let's bring some work to get and get together for coffee. And this gets broadcasted out to everybody in the group when you set up a meetup, which is awesome. It's just wonderful. Let's talk about why it works if you don't want to start your own group and have that responsibility. If you're traveling to a different area, let's say you're traveling to San Francisco, you could reach out to other groups and offer to come and speak for them, or you could go join groups in France and San Francisco that would do the things you love to do. And networking is one of those things. So let's first say we're going to San Francisco. And then let's put in networking. Ready? And click search. Then we're going to choose groups. There's this, this is a toggle over here on the right. So San Rafael Business Networking. Now, right now, it's sorting by recommended groups. We're going to sort by the most active. And there you go. So you've got some really active networking groups in San Francisco. You can choose one. You can look at their calendar. You can join them. And you can do great work like this. This is a way to make connections from coast to coast, shore to shore, and really, really make a powerful impact with some great players. If you're starting a startup or you're looking for VC funding, this is a great, great, great way to meet investors also. So this was just my little uh, introduction to Meetup. Our next tip on Meetup is going to be how to set up your profile for impact. So definitely stay tuned to this little video course on social strategy from On The Beam. And thank you for your time.